Chris, tonight's meeting was a stark contrast to previous meetings. Those had been pretty heated because council was frustrated that this problem had gone on for so long. Well, now Trot is under new management with executive director Joel Benz, and he's put in some changes already that has council hopeful for the future. Joel Benz's priorities as the new executive director of TRA are increasing staffing and improving response times, especially in priority one calls. Priority one, which is a life-threatening emergency, heart attack, stroke, it's difficulty breathing, that compliance is eight and a half minutes. Being in compliance means that's met 90% of the time. For the past three months, it's been 70. Well below what we'd like to provide, and it's directly correlated to our staffing levels that we're able to maintain. And but there's hope. TRA began its new EMT Earn to Learn training program earlier this month, and the class has 11 people. You can see they're paying people to train, and that's something that very few people in, in our industry are doing. At the meeting, COO Mike Bureau said ideally he'd like to have as many as 25 people in the class at once in the future, but that will come. When this group finishes training, they will make up about one-fifth of the emergency response staff. And so, you know, you learn how to take care of people and then you learn how to actually drive an ambulance and operate the radios and do things like that. Council members overall were pleased with the progress that's been made and future outlook of TRA. Councilman Rossiel says tonight's meeting made more progress than those with previous TRA management. There was a lot of frustration from council, rightly so, because no one could look each other in the eye and say that we were doing everything we could to help those that were in need in emergency situations. We can all look each other in the eye and say that we are doing what we're supposed to do. And that's why I think the, the attitude was so different tonight. And another thing that has changed is the ability to bring on part-time paramedics. Some have left over the past year and a half or so for various reasons, and they couldn't come back on as part-time, but now they can. So in addition to the 11 that are in the Earn to Learn program, there will be nine EMTs coming back part-time to work. And even with that, it still might be a few months before we see any changes in response time. Reporting live at Citizen Square, I'm Kelsey Mannix, Fox 55 News.